Okay, uh, we're going to be running through the uh, um, ReadyNAS how-to for setting up Active Directory folder permissions. I'm currently running into an error doing this, so I figured it'd be easiest to make a YouTube video to show this. Um, I have the document up on my other screen, and uh, I'm going to walk through the settings here and show everything that I do. Um, so the first thing it has you do is go to the Shares tab within my ReadyNAS. Now I've already joined my domain and I've joined it using an account um, called ReadyNAS which is set up as a domain administrator on my domain um, just for this device so that's the device I use to add this uh, 1100 to my domain um, so I'm gonna go into add shares I'm gonna call this share DFS underscore root um, and I'm going to turn off public access that it has in here and I'm going to apply. Give that a minute to finish. Alright, DFS root added with default access. That's great, no problem. Uh, now it says to verify that we have read and write access under CIFS options. So let's go to share listing come on here so there's DFS root CIFS we're gonna go into there take a second to load and we're gonna look right here for default access and it is set to read and write so that is good it says verify guest access is disabled which is down at the bottom and that should be off yeah allow guest access is, is turned off here uh, okay so now it says to set up root share permissions from a Windows client um, it says we need to log into a Windows client as the administrator account, so that's the same account used that that we joined the that we used to join the ReadyNAS to the domain. Um, I do not have an administrator account with the name administrator, but I do have one called ReadyNAS, which is set up as a domain admin. Um, so I'm going to hit my tab here, which takes me over to log me in. Um, I'm on one of my file servers. Uh, as you can see at the top, I'm logged in as ReadyNAS. And um, I'm going to browse out to that share now um, from my computer. So that's NAS 208480, enter. And there's my DFS root share. Okay, so it says um, I need to right click this share and go to properties. Uh, then from the security tab, I need to click advanced. And from here, it has me uh, select the security group everyone and go to edit and deselect all allowed permissions. So I'm going to clear all of those so everything's off and now OK. Now it says to exit the advanced window by clicking OK and accept the changes with a yes. So there's our yes with our, our Windows notification and we're good there. Now it wants me to add the domain users in. So I'm going to go to add and this doesn't show me going into the advanced section. This shows it at least in their walkthrough. Um, so I'm going to do it the same way that they show it domain users. Now domain users will contain every user of my domain by default uh, which is, is good. Um, so if a new employee accounts created by default they're going to get this access which is fine. Um, it says to make sure read, uh, execute, list folder contents are, are picked uh, which is the same in their screenshot. These three options right here. It says to click OK and um, looks like we are good. It says to click OK and then yes on the following prompt but I did not get a prompt so um, I guess that's OK. Um, it does have in here that a note that creator group and creator owner get created by default uh, which should not be modified and we didn't change those. Okay so now we get into the subfolders which is what I'm having problems with. 
Um, so within this DFS root, uh, I'm going to make a new folder and I want to call this uh, Professional Services, which is for a specific department we have. And I'm actually going to skip down. It has you create a, a public section first, which through the, the walk me through. Um, so I created this folder, which is going to be my protected folder. Um, and I want to uh, right click this, go to properties on the security tab. Let's see here. All right, on the security tab, I want to go in and add the department and the walk me through the have you add sales. But I have a professional services group, um, which is a group here that, that's for, for our domain, and it says to give full control. Okay, so we got full control there. Apply. Okay, now it says to click advanced. I want to go to domain users. Now you can't remove domain users from here. One of the posts I've seen, it says because the unit's a, a Linux based unit, they will always show up. So I've tried removing domain users and as soon as I hit apply and OK and come back in, they're still there. Um, so I'm assuming this is just due to the way that this device is built. Um, so I'm going to go to, uh, let's see, I want to go to edit and it says that select the security group domain users edit them deny all permissions in the advanced window and select OK so I'm going to do deny for domain users and OK select OK again yes to the prompt and OK there. And now it says to go in and test the permissions. So uh, behind me here I have a, um, a, a Windows 7 instance just is logged into the domain as a, a user called ReadyNAS user who is a member of that professional services group and it's also a domain user. So I'm going to go to the ReadyNAS. and there's my DFS root I was able to access it professional services and how about that I was able to access it there as well so um, I will try this on another computer and if it works then um, awesome and uh, if not I will be back um, so there's your your walkthrough um, uh, in video format for for these settings thank you very much